We got a big dog here with us today. This is a 1970 Challenger V code. And for those of you that don't know what a V code is, that's the letter in the serial number that designates this is a 440 six pack car. That Magnum motor makes 390 horsepower. And this one's been rotisserie restored. It's gorgeous in and out, top to bottom, full of options from leather seats, a rally, uh, dash, AM, FM, power steering, power disc brakes, all sorts of good options. And it's numbers matching, motor, trans, color. And the fender tag has been decoded. The car was born exactly as you see it. So this is a very rare, special car. And I'm uh, about to tell you over the next few minutes how nice it is. Go to volocars.com, and that's where you can take your time and look at about 100 pictures top to bottom. Uh, read the description about the car. And that is where you will find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. Now, if you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. And if you really like the car that you see, hit the Buy It Now button on our website, and it'll lock the car up until you have a chance to talk to the salesman. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, that's a really nice car. I can tell you the fit and finish, the way the hood and the door shut, and just sitting in it, looking at the dash, it's a really exceptional piece. So it was flipped on a rotisserie. Every component was removed from the bottom of the car. Uh, the bottom of the car is absolutely spotless metal. The floor pans, the rockers, the frame rails, all of it's clean metal. It was all prepped and restored, and it was painted the same high gloss sublime green underneath the car. Every component was restored or replaced. The suspension up front is brand new looking. It's detailed, every bushing, you name it, it's all rebuilt. All the steering, suspension, uh, the rear suspension's redone. Does have air shocks on there now. Um, it has a nice dual exhaust system with a crossover pipe and the correct square tips coming out through the lower valance. Uh, brake system's completely redone. The e-brake cables, the lines, the hoses, you name it, has disc brakes in front. You looking up at the motor, it's spotless. It's not stained, it's not dirty, it's not grimy. The motor is spotlessly clean when you look up at it. The starter, the fuel pump, all of that looks like new. When you're looking up at the motor, you can see the casting uh, codes, the casting date. They're all lined up for this car. Then the actual VIN number is stamped down by the oil pan. And there's pictures of all that on our website. The 727 Torque Flight Automatic also restored, also VIN number matched to this car. It's got an eight and three quarter uh, sure grip rear end in the back. Pretty sure this one had 323 gears in it. Uh, fuel tank was replaced, the fuel lines, the straps, Everything, every little clamp and clip and everything under the car looks like new. They did a great job. Now let's check out the body. I can tell you, absolutely straight. Not a ripple, not a wave. This, they call this the power bulge hood, part of the RT. And it lines up nice. I just closed the hood a minute ago. It just like click real nice. Clean, absolutely straight all the way down to the bottom. Just feeling it. It's not even rough way down there it's as smooth as it is up here not a bubble not a wave not a lump square and flush this is really nice absolutely straight i don't see body work shrinkage dents bumps nothing no cracking it's all painted in the wheel well the same color yeah this this is really really nice even better than I expected. I mean, this is this is like glass all the way down here. That's so what's nice about putting it on a rotisserie. They can turn the car and work on it. They don't have to lay on their back or cut corners down low or in the nooks and crannies. It makes it easier for them, which makes a better end result. So the body, I'm telling you, is amazing. It has the sport mirrors, the paint. According to the tag, it is a factory sublime green car. It is sanded and blocked and polished like glass. 
I mean, literally, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing little bumps or dust or pits or anything. It, it's like glass. It's beautiful. I'm looking for a flaw to tell you folks about. I don't see even a little hairline crack. I don't see anything. I did notice on the very edge of the other door, there's a few little chips on the edge of the door, and that, that's all I found. It has the black stripe. That's excellent. There's not a mark on it. That's probably a decal, I'm assuming. One variation I noticed from the fender tag, this also had the black stripes down the side. If you like those, that's a decal. Those can easily be put on. It has the pop-up gas cap, the racing cap. That looks new. Emblems look new. The bumpers, bright and shiny. The whole tail light, the lenses, the reverse light, all this is in really nice shape. All the trim is really nice. Really nice rear glass, couple of really light scratches. All this stainless trim is either new or it's been restored. It's all straight, it's all fitting nice. It's not popping up in the corners, nothing like that. Windshield was replaced, door handles look new. Sitting on 15 by seven rally wheels, they look new. The wheel, the caps, the trim rings. And of course, reproduction tires are polyglass uh, GT reproduction tires, front and back, F60s. Yeah, all the emblems are sparkling. Front bumper is beautiful. The grill, excellent shape. Correct antenna looks brand new. Yeah, it's a really nice car. It's even nicer than I thought it was. Let's open it up. We'll go through it. I'm going to show you a trunk that looks brand new as well. Look how nice it's painted. The latch looks new. The sticker was replaced. This car does have the light group, so it should have a trunk light here, which is missing. Uh, the jam, the seams, all is real nice and clean. Correct weather strip, and it's installed properly. Now look at the whole trunk compartment. It's all gloss, sublime green. Spare, collapsible tires, never been used. The rim is real nice. It has the Chrysler air bottle, the base of the jack. There's the rest of the jack where it's supposed to be. It all looks brand new. Of course, we got a new mat. We got a new rear seat divider. This, this trunk compartment is pristine, excellent. <laughs> This has the light package. I immediately thought, well, it doesn't have the turn signals on the fenders. And then I read Challengers RTs did not have that. Kudas did. Uh, door jams are as slick as the outside. The weather strips are new. Uh, the door panels all look new. All the plastic trim in the car is really excellent. Looking at a pristine dash, the heater controls, has a rear speaker selector. The wood grain, the knobs. This is the rally dash. A tachometer, clock. Clock's not working. The rest of the gauges are. Factory AM FM radio. Uh, it doesn't turn on, so it's not hooked up. Uh, but it has it, which also, it's a stereo, so it has the extra speakers in the dash pad up on top. And this dash pad, by the way, is in mint condition. I don't see any cracks. Everything's straight, fits nice, looks good. Kick panels, carpet, uh, RT mats, all that's real nice. Center consoles in really nice shape. There's one small crack right here. I've seen them crack in that same spot before. Slapstick shifter. Wood grain looks new. Now, if you can tell, this is genuine leather on the seats, and it's glove soft. This is not hard leather. It's a factory option, and it's a six-way adjuster as well, so you can... Uh, you know, just the seat six, six different positions. That's a pretty rare option. So the back seat's vinyl. That's just how they did it. Uh, when you got leather, it was in the front only. But the side panels, all the plastic trim, the rear speaker shelf, all excellent. Headliner fits tight as a drum, no wrinkles. The dome light works. The visors, the mirror, all look like new. Deluxe steering wheel looks like it's brand new. So I'm going to say this interior is better than very good. This interior is really outstanding. Now we do inspect and you know service our cars 
you know, something like a clock or a radio. They don't spend too much time, but they go through and make sure they run, drive, and, and function real well. Uh, this one here, motor compartment is stunning. Again, the original motor, all stock, manifolds, valve covers. Underneath that giant air cleaner is the uh, intake with the three, I think they use holly carbs, uh, so the six pack. Even date coated spark plug wires, so everything's correct. Exhaust manifolds, all the components on the firewall, it even has the cowl rubber and the, the cowl vents. Metals painted beautifully. Every component looks like new. The horns, the alternator, the Chrysler washer bottle, Chrysler radiator with the shroud, all the pulleys and brackets. It has power steering. The battery's properly secured. Has the fender tag with all those codes that we have decoded on the paper, which is on our website. There's a hidden VIN number back here that matches the car, and there's also one on the cowl. So uh, you know that, that's all lines up. Power brakes, three-speed wiper motors restored. And again, the engine bay is painted glossy and nice. Ah, listen to that idle. You just made her sound like popcorn popping. Passenger door just closed beautifully. Watch how this closes. I imagine this door is going to shut real nice. It's a nice thing about this car. Not only can you say, oh, this, this, and this is new, but it all fits right. All the door weather strips are right. Again, the trim is not popping off in the corners. Um, vinyl top, I didn't mention, that's excellent. And I'm looking at our service. Uh, you know, every car is inspected. We fix the reverse lights. We replace the fuel sending unit, reposition the wipers. They were in the wrong place. Recalibrated the speedometer so it's accurate. Uh, fix the courtesy lights and replace the door lock cylinders. Uh, but we usually draw the line at radios and clocks and, you know, some of the more minor things. Door hood shuts nice. This is a rare car. They made just over 1,000 446 pack Challengers. Extremely desirable. Number match. It would cost well over 100 grand. I'd say 125 plus to restore this car today. Um, there you have it. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen will help answer your questions, including how to get it in your driveway and uh, also help with that financing. If you enjoy the video, subscribe, click the bell icon. We got some great cars lined up for you. Thanks for watching.